What's up, y'all? How everybody doing? How everybody doing, goddammit? Shout out to everybody in the chat with their notification games grown. Shout out to all the new people too that been hitting that subscribe button and became to the payout game. Boy, ain't we finna discuss this? While we get everybody in here, this is why I want to ask y'all. Do y'all think Monifa, uh, if Monifa is the reason? Why killing them got shot if it's over the Kanika Jenkins case? Because remember, killing them got shot and the rest of them people. Because the people that got shot with killer, they were everybody was speculating on that them niggas had something to do with it, right? I want everybody to think about that because it's a reason why. Shamaya and them ain't friends with Monifa. Basically, nobody ain't friends with Monifa no more. I don't think they got damn it, uh, friends. Cause, cause if you look at the whole situation with Monifa, you know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody from the party just really fuck with her, but Mariah and her folk. Cause you know, her and Irene ain't cool. You know her and Bri Bri ain't cool. You know her and Shamaya ain't cool. Then Shamaya got shot. Killer got shot. And they said he paralyzed. And then the dude that got shot with Killer T.Y. You know what I'm saying? The little young dude named T.Y. He dead. And that was the one that had on the, the Adidas outfit. He dead. So do y'all think, you know what I'm saying, on the whole Kanika Jiggy case, Probably one of the main reasons that killing them got shot, because we already know rumors around allegedly saying killer was down there trying to save her. That could be true, and I think I can could believe that. But it could have been like retaliation, like you better not say nothing, you know what I'm talking about, because you know killer already told Miss Teresa, him and Pete, him and P's told Miss Teresa something, made her change her mind about them because she was like, these guys told me the truth. You see what I'm saying now? But look, gang, I'm going to show y'all how to look into this investigation like I do and stuff. Because... Because I got some real rock solid evidence over her. I got some real major receipts that I need to share to y'all. Because there's so many receipts out here. You just got to put everything together. You know what I'm talking about? It's a lot of paperwork involved. It's a lot of footage involved. You know what I'm talking about? So when it comes to the receipt game, boy, you're going to have plenty, plenty studying and research to do. You got to have patience and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? But watch this game. I'm gonna show y'all this shit right here. Now look, keep this in mind, right? Y'all see this live video? Now, y'all see what time it is, don't it? They said 12 or something, right? Y'all see the time stamp. Look, watch this. Y'all Now look what's going on on the footage and Irene live video. You see that? We already know this at 12.58, right? Now look at the Facebook. You see what time it is? And go to this. Dude, I 
and everybody look we got to find Kanika round one song going on one song because remember Tay Zunday video what they were talking about one song about the police with security and they all in the pool area and all this old shit right look Turn the radio. Oh, yes, please. You gotta listen to the radio, too. And keep this in mind, right? The original Irene video that everybody be watching, this was right after that. This was right after that, gang. So what they telling everybody? Man, don't fall lie to us, bruh. They went along with the police narrative to say Kanika was down there in the room at one time. She could be in that room right now. So remember, Franz K said he went up there at 12 something. Kanika was on the bed asleep. Gang in his bed, gang in his bed. No, 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 I ain't got the song. Oh, I got the Oh, yeah. I know what you're doing, too. I just get the shit, too. And if you pay attention, right? Now, since we know this at 12 and 1 o'clock, just right around the corner, about five minutes, it's going to be 1 o'clock, bro. It's going to be 1 o'clock. It's going to be 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
Man, I'm finna show y'all this right here, right? Now, we know that ain't even at 236. We know that ain't even at 236, right? Cause let me show y'all this. How is that possible? How is that possible if you record, is you being recorded from the back and then you recording your, come on, bro. See that? Caught red-handed. Caught red-handed. How both of these shit will be going on at the same time. But why shit? You gotta look at Friends Cave every move at one o'clock. Look. That's why Bri Bri not in her live video. That's why Bri Bri not in the live video. Look how Trey Gang understanding the timeline. Again, one o'clock. This at one. Taking sheets to the room. Where are he taking them sheets to? And remember this sucker running around the hotel. And I remember when he got on that elevator right there. Y'all see the elevator door open? Keep this in mind. When he got on that elevator, he must have to leave those sheets in the elevator. Cause he went in and came right back out the motherfucker, bro. But look how many sheep that he took up there less than two minutes. Less than two minutes, bro. You got a car. You could have you could have made one motherfucker trip, but you done made down the three and four trips. But keep this in mind, we know the story. Round 130, the nigga on her phone stating that she ready to go. So if we knew Franz K was in the room and he told us that, you got to watch the whole fucking footage at once something for you to understand if you J for K, bruh. 
Look, 110. And we know he met up with Pucky, and we know for a fact Pucky will bring the G A D. So they got to wait on Pucky for the drug, for she to be in cold inherent. Right? So keep this in mind. <clears throat> We don't know if Kanika in that room. She could be in another room. But Monifa said out their mouth, they went to different rooms. You know what I'm talking about? They could have went to different rooms. They could have went in that holly Irene, then went down to the sixth floor or the eleventh floor, greet other motherfuckers from the party. You see what I'm saying? Now look. So Irene would be waiting on them. But now look. So, so keep this in mind. Puck and them were already would be there at 12 or something. Because they in TY Live video. Right? They in TY Live video. So Puck and them going to be there. Watch this. Bree Bree leave at 126. Now from my understanding, according to the footage, Friends K running around, he said, boom, you know what I'm talking about. I went in the room, I hit the bud, and Kanika was on the bed asleep. That would be impossible if she was on the bed asleep, because in the beginning, another YouTuber exposed a security guard stating that, that he was sitting on the bed next to Kanika trying to talk to her, and she wasn't feeling him. So if that's the reason why he lied to me and said she was asleep, so I won't think about that part, right? All right. So look. Now this is exactly at one thirty. Now we know he finna be lingering in the lobby and in the front parking lot by Prince K at the elevators with more. She and blank. See what I'm saying? Now look. When this going on, that's why they gave us Irene live video when they come to this. I would not be the person that I am today had it not been for the partnership with UMGC. Spectrum Mobile is the fastest growing mobile provider in the nation. And now is the time to switch. <laughs> you funny as fuck, baby. Yes, now y'all see the difference? It's the reason why they want us to believe that this shit was going on at one thirty six. I don't believe it. It was a reason why they said Irene Lab need to be at one thirty six. According to the Facebook and, and the video footage, it don't ass up. It really don't even ass up, bro. So now we need to figure out what's really going on with Kanika. Cause remember Irene said two hours later, Kanika really not in her. They go back to one o'clock, bruh. They go back to one o'clock. Right? Oh, look. Let me see your name. Slow your roll, Sean. Keep my head, huh? Do that to the energy. This slow fucking. Let me see, let me see it. Let me see it. She 
so when I look at this live video, I'm like, damn, look what they talking about. Look what they talking about. Look what they planning. Right before one song. And I want y'all to think about what that lady told the other YouTube about thugged out kid in the pool area, right? With businessmen and police officers, right? Okay. Remember Von Terry Williams, right? We got to understand who the fuck is Von Terry Williams. Because he was in the room too. He was in the room too. So, do y'all see him on the footage? Or do y'all see him on Facebook Live videos? Or do y'all even know what the man looked like? That's the part that you could do your own personal research on. It's well worth the try. Because because you might be better than me explaining all this dumb shit going on with the case, right? Oh, look, look. Oh, look, look, Now y'all see what's going on? Think about this. These is all the people that's in killer circle. If Monique for the real reason why these people got shot, think about it. Think about it. Killer could say something and already did. P said something and already did. Even even King Ra was like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, you got cheese? That's peas because he smiled a lot, and you got whistle because peas were talking, and plus with the snag of tooth and shit, that's why he called him whistle. So, <clears throat> so they got backlash from the gang, bro. They got some backlash from the gang because they said something about the girl case. They said something about the girl case. All right. Here go little T.Y. This is the dude that was in the Adidas outfit sitting next to Kanika. One point of time, he was sitting next to Kanika. And then in the live video, that would be him in T.Y. live video. That would be him sitting next to Shamaya and Monifa. All of this important, gang. This is all important. All right. But now he dead. Now he dead. I, that's the one that got killed with Killer. He, he was the one that got shot with Killer. Now listen to this. Now, if you read this post right here, Young Gero, we didn't mean to kill her. What he mean by we didn't mean it? All right, if you violated her, right, you violated her. You did what you did. But when it come to the killing part, is this the reason why he said that? Because she was still alive and they put her in the bag? And they thought she was dead. Because remember, they said they thought she was dead. So if you thought she was dead, then put her in a trash bag and be like, damn, we actually killed her. I ain't even mean to do that. That's how the way I'm taking this pose. You see what I'm saying? All of this important, gang, show Kanika how strong your mindset is. Show her. She deserve it, bro. She deserve You can't forget nothing that happened to her, bro. Everybody want justice for her. And we got to show the support. Now look.
Here we go, Mike Tate. Watch how we finna catch Bree Bree up. Read it with me, gang. Cause remember, now you finna understand what the fuck. Bree Bree leave with Mike Mike at one twenty six. Keep in mind. He said he was there for killer birthday party, right? Why would you ask a nigga and argue with a nigga you ride with me or what? I'm finna roll. You just got here. This your nigga party. It just got started. Why the fuck is you leaving with Bree Bree? Already. Cause, cause check this out. That means Bree Bree finna be in the car with fucking Mike Mike. All right, listen to this shit. First of all, sending my condolences to the girl family. That's some foul shit that happened. Motherfucker calling me saying they heard my voice. Yes, that's me arguing with my motherfucking home because I was ready to go. I was leaving that nigga. Now look, this is birthday. So you know all this shit is cap. So you know all this shit is cap. This image that you see on the footage creates him a alibi. I was gone. It's like Bree Bree alibi. I was gone. Right? So boom. Remember Irene said she left with some of the guys. Who is some other guy? It's a mystery. Y'all help me research this so we can come together on this. Check this out. This sucker thunder booty said. I was letting that nigga dictate my teeth, and I'm the motherfucker who was driving. So I took his ass, and I can't read my screen. I got. I'm looking at another monitor over here. I got three monitors over here, so I'm be back and forth with everything. He was, uh, I'm about to leave, bro. You ride with me, and then not talking about dirt, but some pussy boy. You motherfucker must not know me. Motherfucker calling me talking about angry my boy about I'm sick. I'm going to jail. Y'all look, that's what we heard. Man, you at your nigga party. Why in the fuck you telling this man he just getting there and you already ready to go? We heard the conversation in the background. Even the police got the audio recording of what they were saying in the background. Yeah, we about to murder her, some type of shit. And, and you know what I'm talking about? It sound like. That's when the violating finna get really started. Sound like that's when they really finna start the violation process. But that's what they were talking about in Irene live video. So boom. So we know he all cap, but Bree Bree left with him. And keep this in mind, be look, keep this in mind before they left, right? So remember, two girls, they needed two girls. Remember? They needed two girls and Bree Bree ended up leaving with him. All right. <clears throat> now, who go all the list of the people? Right. I want y'all to look at it. Just look at the names. I know some of y'all ain't seen these names before. But if you do your research, we can all come together, bruh. We can kill all conspiracy theories with this shit. We can kill all the lies and the rumor with just receipts and facts. Y'all see what's on the ground? 
look like a liquor bottle or a mouthwash bottle. I don't know what kind of liquor that is or even that even this a liquor bottle. But to me, it don't supposed to be on no flow. And what was it filled with? What was in that shit? You see what I'm saying? I don't know. But if y'all look at the shoes, T.Y. talking to him. Ain't this the same dude they're going to be walking with man man? See what I'm saying? Look at the setup. If this was going on at 12 or something, going on 1 o'clock, and we already heard what they were about to do to the girl, who would you seeing on the footage? That's the reason why T.Y. was at the fucking door. Time out. Yeah, where that cup at, folk? What you need that cup for? It's when y'all really finna give it to her. But remember, we already seen what was going on in T.Y. Live video. So let's check this out again. Same Man, the phones ain't working. This weak ass connection. Man. Shut up. You stay the top of it. You want to get into it? Yeah. Yo. I sure hope somebody comes there. Yeah. 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 Wait, I just get through this. I need to see him in the back. Hello? Pardon? Hello? Parking is that? It's the parking lot. It's a parking lot. Park in the parking lot. You look pretty. Happy birthday. Thank you. That is my kid. I told you. What you saying over that slick? What you say? If they were about a pocket ticket, why nobody ain't show no proof of purchase of a pocket ticket? Mm-hmm. They ain't even got the pocket ticket receipt showing what they paid, right? So they just want y'all to speculate. Now look. This why she said park in the pocket. So look who coming in. Right on the crew, bruh. Look who just came in the door. T.Y. now. Soon when they get there, they automatically go laugh and try to play like you were cool. So look. I ain't got no more theories about the parking lot because nobody never purchased a pocket ticket. Remember, Irene went to the front desk and got all their pocket tickets. That's why she said park in the parking lot. That's why they talking about the ticket. Cause Irene already got the tickets, bro. She finna get him the tickets, so they didn't pay for nothing. That's why the police didn't show no pocket ticket receipt. You see what I'm saying? They just like walking out of store with bruise and shit, and the motherfucker like, okay, what a receipt showing that you paid for this, and you ain't got no receipt for it. Andrew Home low down ass tried to explain to us. Y'all talking about that pocket ticket, the two hundred dollars would buy if they lose a pocket ticket and all this. Okay, we get that part, but I wanna see the receipts where they show where they parked that bruh. They never did it.
But look, they got more than one pocket ticket. Look how many tickets. Look, they got about six pocket tickets. About six of them. I'm watching this shit. That's why they talking about the pocket ticket. Because look, if you get caught, check this out. They basically saying don't lose the ticket. But Irene finna get them. Because if you lose the ticket, you going to have to pay to get out the motherfucker, bro. You gonna have to pay, so that's why they were talking about don't lose the ticket. For one thing, the ticket supposed to be inside the car on top of the dashboard, so security could see. You see what I'm saying? It ain't even hard to, to figure that part out, right? So look, they come in. You can hear who Irene talking to on the phone. She got to be talking to Mariah or one of these girls. Cause it was a girl on the phone. No, I'm talking about. So once you add the timeline up, this is what you get. Boom. Park in the parking lot. I got you. Come to the room. I'm give you the ticket. Just don't lose the motherfucker. That's why you hear Kanika in the background be like, man, look, I don't know what's going on, but man, they said if you lose that pocket, we're gonna have to pay two hundred motherfucking dollars. She concerned about her mama car because she already seen the bogus shit that was going on with the pocket ticket, bro. You see what I'm saying? All right. Boom. They come in. Right? Bree Bree Lee go outside. She finna go get Kanika phone charger and the red energy board drink. About time she come back with the red energy board drink. She give it to Kanika, but she ain't in TY Live video. So if you get a clear understanding, like why is Bree Bree not in TY Live video? That's a question need to be answered, bro. Where she was at? In another room, lingering in the hallway, talking to some guy. But clearly she ain't nowhere in the room. Look how everybody's showing up all at the same time. So these people came down the three and four cars deep, bruh. They all came. Pucky everybody. Now you know why Friends K is on the move. So boom. What you say, Gail Smart? Oh, I really need the weed, weed bro. Damn, I just got the weed. Just the Let me see who you talking to. It don't matter. I'm putting my face up. Did you put any enforcement in this? Look, they getting ready for the girl. You see this shit, bro? They getting ready for that girl, bro. It's on the weekend's connection. Hello? 926. 26. Hmm. <laughs> what y'all can do? Kanika to get drunk and enjoy herself for another nigga, bruh. 
Look how I'm reading between the lines. Damn, this what y'all long? You know what I'm saying, man? Then you got Mike, Mike, talking about, yeah, he ready to go and they need two girls. All right. Watch this. What's up, you riding with me on what? Are you tripping? I don't know. Check it out. You know what it's doing? I'm going to bring the episode. I told him, I told him, check it out. I'm going to have to fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, check it out. I'm going to have to fuck you, 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 Now, if you from the street, just like I am, and street smart, now you understand why T.Y. went live to show the girl last moment partying. Partying and having a good time. This the video they showed Lira Nora and the family and had them upon the impression that this was at 236. That's why Lira Nora said we got other video showing this this round two thirty six. So what you know what I'm saying? Whatever happened in that room, it had to happen there too, some bro. So that's why everybody was like, "Damn, what the fuck? It said two something, but it really wasn't. It said twelve, going on one o'clock, cause you got to add these videos." Around the same time frame when they commit the murder. If you flash this to us, that's what we gonna believe. This shit is too some, and we, and that's how you cover up the reality. What's going on in the hour between one o'clock to two thirty, before she seen on the elevators, bro. All right, check this out. You sure got that right. T.Y. was showcasing Kanika Jenkins. Look, I felt that in the beginning because I'm like, damn, he only filming two people. Mariah and Kanika. Now, you read the text me. If you seen the original live video, they got text messages on now. So you had people in the comments were trying to root Mariah to fight Kanika, bruh. That's what was said in the comments on the live feed. So everybody knew it was finna be a fight, bruh. That's why nobody ain't paying attention to Kanika. Ain't even they ain't even acknowledging the girl. Look how he acting with the camera. <laughs> You ain't never seen a white folk. Nigga, you so wonderful. Yeah, y'all finna get put out. Y'all finna get put out. Y'all get put out. Ain't this funny? This man said y'all finna get put out and the manager popped right up. How he will say that right, right around the time the manager finna pull up. So look, so now you got a, a confrontation. I mean, now you can confirm when the manager came to the room that would be going on one time. Right? So look, boom, boom, boom. You got friends cave already up there with bed sheets, blankets and shit. You see what I'm saying? 
Now you understand why he sent me the letter said, I don't know where to start. Maybe an hour or two later when we were watching the video and we seen the girl get snatched. You see what I'm saying? But let me find this for y'all. Y'all listen to this shit. The whole situation is bad. Like me and my friend was there, drunk. They couldn't look. They could have been any one of us females. I don't trust that hotel. They asked was too chill about everything. A motherfucker kept coming up there and knocking on the door. I'm thinking we about to get put out. They still let us stay up there. Who about to let some motherfucker smoke? Hold on. Damn. Up. Oh. Alright, here I go. Who about to let a motherfucker smoke and play music at the hotel? Right? A white motherfucker knocks on the door. I was like, that's the manager at the door. They opened the door. He wasn't a manager. So that means it was a white man came up there. What only white man that y'all seen throughout the whole night? I mean, uh, throughout the 36 hour video, them are managers, right? It's either Risco, Lenny, or the assistant beverage manager, and they got another manager. He's white, short, bald head, and heavy set. I done seen all the footage. I done seen all the manager, so I know who exactly they talking about. But keep this in mind: you got Risco, Lenny. The sixty beverage manager and another white man. He bald head and real short. David Pena is a foreigner. The rest of the manager is foreigner. So when you hear it in TY Live video, it don't sound like a foreigner do. <laughs> Don't be so loud. Yeah, it's too late for that. Listen, gang, that's a white man at the door. This ain't no Mexican. This ain't no goddamn it, Cambodian. No Cambodian motherfucker. This not an African. This is not a Philippine. None of this. We know this whole person. A Caucasian, bro. Listen to his voice in the background. Yeah, it's too late for that. Yeah. 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 He just indicated to me the way I'm finna look at it. It's, it's gonna be three motherfuckers just came up there. It's going to be three motherfuckers that came up there. That's why he said all oh, three y'all. Um, remember the other YouTuber said the security guard was writing down all the motion sensors that was going off at one something in the morning? You got the manager telling them don't call the police. They let you know they had something in mind when they get a girl out that fucking room, bruh. Because look, remember. Pucky 
gave friends K the drug something and we know they finna drug her in the room. So you can't put this together. <laughs> Watch this. Turn that, turn that pappy ring tone off. <laughs> off that pappy ring tone. <laughs> there we go. Watch this. <laughs> now look, y'all see in the background, they go to white girl. So the white girl was already at the hotel. Cause that's the girl that T.Y. finna be coming back in with. So T.Y. was in there fucking with underage girls too, bruh. In the hotel with young bitches, bruh. That's why they, look, that's why they wanted everybody to believe, ooh, y'all see that girl back there? That's Miss Teresa in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Everybody would believe in this shit. And I'm like, damn, how is it that fucking easy for people to be misled? It's like, it's like, it's like you could actually narrate a video and people were just ready to hear you say shit instead of understanding what's really going on. So look, boom. I just want one cup. I just want one cup. See that? When she hit that, no doubt it's a drug in that drink, bruh. And she like, what the fuck is this? Look how that girl like, damn, look look what they just did. Look who she got the dream from, Monifa. Look who Monifa hanging with, the Ops. You know damn well, Kanika ain't finna take a drink from now. Nobody else in the room. Why you think they had Monifa to do it? Then they had the liquor bottle, look. So the liquor bottle going to be on the floor, bro. All right, I just want one cup. Yeah. Two cups. See that? Sleepy T. Boo gang. They know that girl finna be knocked out when that drug kick in, bro. So. This means she would be drugged down there going on one o'clock. So that means it ain't going to take long for the drug to take effect. We're going to say about 15 minutes to 30 minutes for the drug to take place, right? So they're going to go back to 1.30. Maybe Kanika felt, felt, felt funny and was like, I'm ready to go, bro. Because she was like, damn, I feel like I'm being drugged. You see what I'm saying? Think about that. Cause the drug finna kick in. I know when you smoke weed, you finna smoke weed down to about 15, a full blunt. If you, you smoke a whole blunt, you finna be smoking for about 10 to 15 minutes till you get the real high, right? So think about it with that drug. Boom. Now there'll be a perfect time, man. That's probably why we can't find where the fuck Kaniga was round one something, bro. And that's why they had us with the video with the time all wrong so that we won't be thinking the right way. The fucking right way, bro. Look. Okay. Y'all better chill out over here. Yo, oh, baby, the biggest bees hey, in here for banks. Y'all alright? 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 She just predicted the girl there. Man, that gyro and shit dead in her tonight. Look at the girl that's on the bed. She works in the kitchen. Look how our killer still sitting in the same spot. I ain't moving, so he peeping everything, bro. You see what I'm saying? He peeping everything. That's why, look. Keep this in mind. Where's Mike Mike? And Bree Bree. Where is Mike Mike and Bree Bree? Where is Mike Mike and Bree Bree? That's another question need to be answered. If you help me research this, we got an answer. 
We got a fucking answer, bro. That German shit dead is nothing. I'm for the renegade. We renegade. We crazy cool, baby. Big C. Hey, then you say turn the music on, folks. Y'all don't listen, folks. Y'all don't listen, folks. Y'all don't listen, folks. That's why he got that motherfucker camera on Mariah. You see what I'm saying? Because if you was reading what the comments was saying on the live video, you would know why he filming. Mariah on the motherfucking chair. So guess what the YouTubers did? So they said, look, you see that girl right there? That's Kanika getting choked out. Right? And look how many people felt for it. Look how many people felt for that. Then they said, look at the window. It's a balcony right there. You could actually see the security guard. And people were like, ooh, I see it. He, for one thing, he ain't even no motherfucking balcony. So, they were basically with showing y'all right in front of your face who would be responsible for all of this shit so mariah was sitting on the girl that she came in with and they sitting over there with scholar kanik i mean the irene cousin shallow you know what i'm talking about and them other niggas in the corner because you know how the hotel live this is where the liquor would be in the refrigerator. Cause this is where the refrigerator is, right here where they standing, where they sitting on, bro. So the YouTubers know that. So guess what they said? Oh, look in the bathroom. That's when they put something in the drink. No, they ain't even the case. You see what I'm saying? That ain't even in the case. Cause if you understand the whole investigation, you will know what's up with that bathroom. You got a female that's sitting on the toilet that everybody wanted to believe that was Leonora. For one thing, that's what the ops told everybody that was Leonora. But that girl that's in the video got video footage of the party and the police took her video investigated in it. Boom. Man, look. Man, they would look. I don't even see why people would believe in this. Kanika, you think Mariah would could sit on her and choke her like that? And, and you don't think Kanika would have another script to be like, bitch, get up off me. And you don't think Kanika would let her sit on top of her like that? For one thing, that's why the YouTubers in the beginning never said who was this girl then. They always said, look at that girl right there choking Kanika out. You see what I'm saying? And no damn well, this Rico baby mama, bro. It hit different now. We know this Rico baby mama and we know they got some drama. Check this. Now look at Monifa Page. You see how they photoshopped Monifa live and like, look, this was at 236. So how would both of these live would be going on at the same fucking time? They fucked up, bro. They were so concerned about what was going on at 1 and 2 o'clock. And they threw these two videos out there. You know what I'm talking about? Contradiction. Everything they said, bro. It's just to show you how scared the goddamn staff member was. Like, look, we got to cover up for what's happened to that girl between the hours of 1 and 2 o'clock. So we just going to say this was going on. This would make her look like she partying and enjoying herself. 
Look, these the same room. This the same room. And look who they sitting on the bed with. The same motherfucker the police had a search warrant for. You got the red Adidas. Uh, you got the Adidas, the Adidas outfit. Then you got the red Hawk jersey sent by Shamaya and Monifa. So Monifa basically sitting with the niggas that had some in mind with Kanika. So where the sheet said on the bed? Man, where is the sheet? The blanket supposed to be on the bed. Where they gone to? Hi y'all. Can somebody tell me where those sheets and blankets went to? So when you look at the real time, what would everybody would be at, bro? Round about this time. Cause at this time, I ring through going live, TY through going live. We don't even know if Kanika actually in the room or in another room at this point, bro. So if y'all help me research and figure out where this girl at before they show her getting off on the elevator. We got an hour and 30 minutes. An hour and 30 minutes. So, look. Here go the other video right here. And, this, and they look, look how they got this at 224. I believe that's the real footage right here at 224. Because remember, Kanika is not in that live video. She is not in that live video. At this point, Kanika already out the room. Look, look how they went to a certain extent to have you to believe this girl was partying. Man, that girl wasn't partying, bro. She getting violated somewhere in somebody else's room. Because remember, remember, Monifa took her somewhere and left her somewhere in Crown Plaza. Because Irene said she gone there too, something. Now look, according to the paperwork, they said they would charge $20 for the parking. Why they never had the receipt in the investigation? Sure, they showed the receipts when the room was purchased. Why you didn't show when the ticket was purchased? Pay y'all, but they never purchased no parking ticket. And this is my statement. And then look, if you read it closely, look what the statement said, bruh. They even fucked it up even more. So look, they saying around one o'clock, it was pointed out that the hotel, they said this when she found out about the hotel party and it wasn't the move. They stated that they would charge $20 for the parking fee. The girl for uh, Irene's birthday party told them don't worry about paying for the parking fee. She stated that the room, uh, don't worry about the Positive. He said that in the room they was all just sitting around. Come on, 
on, bro. Come on, bro. Read between the lines what these suckers did to this girl, bro. And they said they interviewed Shamaya at four something in the morning. In the morning. If they interviewed, look, if if it was rumored that the police were there, even Kilo Brown said it, everybody at the party said the police showed up. So now you understand how would they get Shamaya's statement at 415 in the morning, bruh. In the morning, in the morning, before Miss Teresa show up to claim her to claim her daughter, it's cold blooded Jack. Look, even Irene like, man, y'all bad look, bro. Look, look, look at the setup. Right? And this on September the 4th. Why I'm gonna even say, no, nah, wait after my birthday. So they, they already had plans of what the fuck was going on with them. That's why Cornell Mitchell made the post. Bitch be getting they still killed when they get raped, bitch. You ain't no virgin no more. You should have just sit back and took the D as usual. Then go home and call the po-po. It ain't no regular nigga to be. You got to be fucked up in the head, bro. Man, you, this is actually a nigga saying this shit. Bro, he couldn't say this shit behind bars or, or in the hood. You see what I'm saying? Nigga would have been broke his ass off for that dumb shit. This how comfortable these nigga could talk about a female, a 19-year-old underage girl at that, bro. This show you what mindset these niggas in. Now, look. You got Brianna Cox saving all young Giro shit. And remind y'all, young Giro is a teenager, bro. He under age. First, he wasn't 200. He was 2000. First of all, I'm here to tell all the truth. Hey, little Momo, baby, trust me. I want to give a fuck. What we both know. We all knew about it, and you was the main one who agreed to it. Hi, y'all. Man, y'all like and share the video, gang. Get the thumb games up, gang. Man, y'all, please get those thumbs and those likes up, Jack. So, look, this Brianna Cox, and, and I want to know what's up with Brianna Cox. Cause she all got on Miss Teresa case talking about why Kanika ain't got no headstone and not everybody want to look at Miss Teresa why she ain't got no headstone. Then they hit up with like she ain't even dead. She in witness protection program. You know what I'm saying? But bitch, you knew everything what happened to that girl. And look how you still playing the family. You see what I'm saying, bro? And these young, hot-ass girls, bro, this one really, y'all want to know why I'm really mad about this case? Because we let a bunch of kids trick grown folks. 
ain't no way your teenager can trick you like that. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no way your child can trick you like that, bro. A fucking kid, bro. That just let us know we need to take time off this social media shit and get our brains back. Too much internet got motherfucker believing in shadow men, psychics, spirits, and all this energy, all this dumb shit, bro. Now listen to this. I'm finna show you how hard trade game working. Y'all see this tick right here? This explain everything. Look. Everybody used to think it was a fake account and a fake page, but this real. Cause listen what it say. TBH, I don't know what TBH mean, gang. I don't know what that mean. But it says, I killed Kanika Martin. I asked her to come to the party instead of doing what she was going to do that night. That mean the movie. And she came. That means they talked her into it. Yes, we did set her up. And we did it well. That's why she's no longer here. LOL. Y'all mad? I was never a friend to her. I just faked it since it was the third grade. That just show you how small man she is. To be out uh, there, what it means to be honest. All right. And she being honest then. This is what the bitch gonna say. What well, honesty sound like. We got her to the hotel that I work at, and I invited the guys over to rape her. Why do y'all think I wore them reflective glasses? Now keep this in mind. This Irene on Monifa page, bro. So Monifa, so Irene dry snitching. Listen to what this she's saying. What Monifa? She's saying what Monifa did. Right? And making it sound like this is a confession coming from Monique. Listen to this. Obvious to show the world what was going on at that moment. At that moment. She got choked to death after being raped and me and some more other workers. You got to believe in that. She said me and some more workers. What did Franz K said about the freezer part? Man, this shit, this shit fucking me up reading it. From the hotel, including everyone was in the room, took her down from the ninth floor. To the basement and put her in the freezer. We, she was already dead before we got her girl. That's why I told y'all in the middle of transport when they got her out the pool, bro. She died when they put her in that trash bag. That what killed Kanika from suffocation, not hypothermia. This match up with friends K said. This shit match up with friends K told me. This match up, then look, notice they ain't even talking about the pool area. You see what I'm saying? There you go. That's how they knew exactly where to go. I'm telling y'all, man, Trey Gang and the Paya Gang on this shit, bro. We own it. Man, we trying to 
Break this shit down to the core, Jack. Now look. When I'm ready to tell the detective the information, I will do so. Stop posting shit on Facebook, bitches. And I know who she referred to when she said that at the end. Yeah, I seen I have questions. Don't be at too excited about I have questions. Because look, they came in the beginning talking about they a forensic team. They This is what they do. Why the fuck they ain't breaking the shit down? Why I'm, why, why I'm so accurate and these motherfuckers still trying to figure out? They still got, they still showing little bitty, come on, bro. You see what I'm saying? They came in as Look, how you gonna zoom me all the way in on her chest? You done zoom all the way in on the girl's chest and talking about, do you see him? How? Inside her chest? In her body? Come on, bruh. I put them folks on black because them folks start photoshopping images in there and had everybody believe, yeah, she was dragged in the bathroom. I couldn't let them folks do that, do her like that, bruh. Because they good at editing videos and sounds effects and shit. That's what get everybody hyped up on some real dumb shit, bruh. All that time, what they showed you? Shit, bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Come on, gang. Me and him bump heads. I'm like, bro, I see that little shit that you doing. The way you doing, you trying to protect a motherfucker. And then look, I have question was all on straight drop live videos and comments. Oh, I guess nobody didn't see that part. Cause look, straight drop was heavily connected to I have question, bro. They he was all in they comment. Keep it up, straight drop. You on the road. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's kind of odd. You see what I'm saying? You would forever be misled if you don't do your own research. That's how they got you the first time. That's how they got us the first time. You see what I'm saying? And when I found out what the fuck was going on, that's why I told myself, I said, man, look, it might take me two, three years just convince a motherfucker what's actually true. It's like, it's like I got to sweat a motherfucker. And, and beg a motherfucker, read the reports and watch the footage from your own understanding. You see what I'm saying? All the narrative came from ops. And you still got people believing what these people said. So look, boom. Obvious that Irene got access to Monifa Page, bro. She got access to Monifa Page. Because remember, she got Monifa phone, so she going to know her password and everything. It ain't no telling her what she, all she had doing with her phone that she still got access to it. You see what I'm saying? I mean, when I when I when when Trey Game was busting this case open, what was uh I had questions then, and what was all the rest of the YouTube? They scared them all. And never heard from them again. Payow. Payow. Where are all the other YouTubers that were spreading all the other narrative? Where they at now? My pony Zach. Yeah, they threw a rock and hid their hands and got on down just like Straight Drop did. Look how Trey Gang shut that bitch ass nigga down. See what I'm talking about? Now he in my comment. Yeah. So that means Trey Gang got damn it shit outweighing that motherfucker on that motherfucker. So boom. Once you look at this shit, they say it. Man, look, to be honest, I killed Kanika Martin. That's why she said that Monifa did this shit because they actually did it when they put her in that trash bag. 
I don't think that was their intention to killing that girl. They just so remember they said they thought the girl was dead, bro. And Franz K said she was shallow breathing. You see what I'm saying? So they thought the girl was actually dead. Maybe the staff told them, man, look, the girl did put her in the bag so we can get rid of the body. And this was exactly they did. And trick them of putting her in the bag and that who would committed the murder, bro. Because whoever beat her, she was still alive. Y'all go fuck with Monique, the little fruity ass best friend, G. He the one that brought that drug and shit for her to drink. Watch the live video. Him and Monique made them niggas was gay as fuck at that shit. Some of them niggas cracked, cracked him too for sure. Look how look how they saying it was gay activity going on with Monique and, and Pucky. Pucky them, bruh. You got some undercover gangbangers at the hotel don't want to be exposed because they messing with little boys. And that's a fact. That's a fact, bro. So look. Look what they saying and shit. Man, look, don't y'all know it's a couple of gay people that was at that party. Look, it was more people at the party that wasn't on footage, period. Because you got to think about it. You got motherfuckers that had other rooms and they, and they still in the room. They ain't got no reason to come out their room and all this. This on the 7th and the 8th and the ninth. You got people that was at the party and ain't even known footage until everything was over with. You see what I'm saying? They killed her. They, this is what Irene said. Check this out. This is what these motherfuckers know. This is what Irene said. They killed her. They told me to put her in the freezer. And if I said some, they would kill me and yeah. But I think we should all stay away from each other. That's why she screenshotting this shit, bro. Because she know who actually did it. And they made her help him, bro. So that's why somebody somebody told Melinda Morgan, show them that video and having people thinking they actually seeing them in the kitchen. And you really ain't seeing nobody in the kitchen, bro. They just overlaid a fucking video. How the fuck you know this video is overlaid? This dead proof. You see the video overlaid. Why the fuck you would believe an edit footage? And this bitch sitting up here talking about the news put it up. What you mean the news put it up? The news didn't put this shit up, bro. Why Miss Teresa? Why Miss Teresa ain't saying nothing about that part? Cause she know that was capping, bro. He even heard the bitch was telling in the background. Look, he said, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm finna show y'all this shit, bro. Hold on, let me pull this shit up. Hold on. I'm gonna pull it up in a minute. Look how look look what look what people would be putting Miss Teresa through when you believe in, in a reenactment. She died on the sixth. That's not her walking in the hallway. That's her, Miss Teresa, and the whole family, bro. That make a motherfucker don't even want to. I see why Miss Teresa don't even just really talk to nobody like that. Because look what everybody believing in. I wouldn't even want to rap with a motherfucker neither, bro. And these same motherfuckers in my inbox talking about J for K. Come on, bro. Come on, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, bro. How you gonna say this is rename it, but you and the mama come in, you know what I'm talking about, J for K. You believe she died on the sixth time out this J for K. You believe in everything what the op said, but you J for K. I see why that lady like, man, look, I'd be wasting my breath trying to, you know what I'm saying, coach these people, cause 
every time when me Teresa say every time when Miss Teresa says something, you got a YouTuber coming right behind her and switching their later words up. It's like y'all got more faith than the YouTuber than real just. I ain't even no YouTuber, but shit, goddamn. You got to you got to come behind me. You got to come behind me and make sure my motherfucking shit accurate, bro. You see what I'm saying? Look, the same person that's in the picture with Tanasia, that's the motherfucker told everybody she died on the seat. So you might as well, look, you might as well just follow this bitch ass nigga, bro. You might as well just say fuck everything else. This who I'm riding with, the ops. And y'all see this? King Rob, look how I got it froze up. King Rob told everybody this Miss Teresa. Look how you can pause the image and make it look like how the way you want to look at it, bro. Everybody was like, damn, Miss Teresa was at the party. Oh, man, not everybody want like, I don't believe. I done, look, I done had motherfuckers follow me and tell me Look, they look. They be like, yeah, Trey Gang, keep doing what you're doing. You open my eyes up into the Kanika Jinka case, but you still side eye the mama and shit. Get the fuck off my channel with that bullshit. But that lady ain't got nothing to do with her daughter, Del, bro. Man, look, if Miss Teresa had something to do with her daughter, Del, man, she would have been erred out a long time ago. The you ain't finna take me to court. Talking about no motherfucking $50 million and you the mastermind behind this shit. Oh, hell no. I'm finna eliminate you real quick. You see what I'm saying, bro? Now look. Look at her, look, you see her hand, bro. You see that girl hand, bro. Look at her waistline, bro. Look at this part. Look at this. You see this shit? Do y'all want to know what y'all really looking at, bro? Let's pull up the op top. What the fuck that look like now? What you think this she her is, bruh? They done list all the fucking injuries. She got an injury in the middle of her back. She got injuries across her pelvis. You see what I'm saying? She got injuries on her leg and on her fucking ankles, bruh. You see what I'm saying? You can see this shit on the body if you know what to look for. Look. What the fuck you think this is? You see what I'm saying? And I used to hate when they show this picture right here. Because they going to be like, yeah, she had on Adidas outfit on. And you know what I'm saying? They were not connect in the hallway. And I got sick and tired of this shit. Because this this what made me just, this what made a motherfucker. I ain't going to lie. This what I have for the YouTubers left, bro. Because cause people was like, man, ain't nobody taking my work serious. I'm finding out something. You had people actually sitting down working hard trying to figure it out. But the op came in. Whatever the op said, boom, it's a go. Why why would a motherfucker want to talk about something if they ain't got no control over, bro? 
and they seeing what other YouTubers doing. Look at this old ass nigga hanging with teenage girl, bro. These nigga perpetrating like they good husbands and all this old shit. And, 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 and God damn it, when nighttime hit, they looking for little girls and little boys. Just imagine this lady marrying this cocksucker and he might, he might be a bottom nigga. He might like it in the wrong. Or he might have give some head. So keep this in mind. Well, y'all think these niggas just be hitting these little boys? They probably want to suck the little boy up too. Come on over here and let me suck that motherfucking pipe right quick. You see what I'm saying? And the wife could be clueless on this shit, bro. No wonder why they had to go to the sink or could look what they would be exposed on. Damn, we got video footage of when you was in that room fucking with Puck and them throwing little orgies and shit. You see what I'm saying? Come on, bro. That's, there'll be another thing to cover this shit up. Look at this nigga. You can tell he a faggot. And you can listen to how the way Marco sound. He a faggot. You see what I'm saying? By him smiling like that, that's the same smile when he see his favorite boy pull up. There go Puck in. You see that? And these bitches claiming they this the type of nigga that threatened Miss Teresa, bro. Man, I wish I was I wish I was in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? These niggas weak as fuck, bro. Look how they went to a certain extent just to cover up the bruise on the body. What you say he a fudge packer? <laughs> Shit, I believe that. It sound like he be knocking the fudge out of nigga ass, don't it, man? You know what I'm talking about? Come on, I'm going to knock all the fudge out your ass. Puck like, ooh, give it to me, daddy, you know, give me to the zaddy, you know what I'm talking about? That's how they be talking, you know what I'm talking about? So, so, when Monifa went live with telling everybody MTV basically gonna say that we hired a hitman for Kanika and all this shit. What made her say that in the what made her say that before MTV dropped the document? You know what I'm talking about, gang. You see what I'm saying? I'm just keeping that shit real, man. Y'all just don't know how y'all just don't know how this gay shit done took over, bruh. Why you think you'll never see a transgender getting beat up or getting exposed? Because they be in relationship with these niggas, bro. Man, that gay dude going to pay what he weigh. He going to make sure he got your drugs, got your J's on, your shoes. You know what I'm talking about? He don't want to expose you for what? You see what I'm saying? You his boo. And you come over that motherfucker, he finna, we, we, you want some cocaine? I got you a lot of this cocaine. And you finna get high out your mind and you finna get that boy the best fuck in the world because cocaine and enhance his sex performance. I don't give a fuck who you will. So you hit these boys like they Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm talking about? Because that's what they look like to you. They got these big ass booty, these big ass hips. You know what I'm talking about? And you gonna bend that little boy over and, and punish him. You might hit that. They be fucking these boy better than they be fucking that gal at the house. 
Cause a boy ain't finna say his jaws hurt, man. I'm tired of sucking this motherfucker. No, he finna be on that motherfucker. That's what they like. Cause she, the baby mama ain't finna suck that motherfucker no more than about 10 to 15 minutes. Nigga be devastated. What you mean you threw boo shit? I want you. My jaws hurt. And you got that boy over here, goddamn it, shit with a motor mouth. Come on in here. I'm finna take care of your ass right now. Oh, but why would Monifa would say that shit, bro? Talking about MTV, gonna say we hired a hitman and all this old shit. Man, you bitches ain't got no money for hiring no motherfucking hit, man. And the cold part about it, you ain't got to look too far when they come to Kiara Cole. And you know what? That's the sad part about it. Here go this girl right here in in they in they picture, bro. And that girl came up missing, bro. I guess nobody ain't down for Kiara Cole, no justice for her neither. And I remember when King Rod really solved the case and told you what happened to that girl, bro. He told you to look for her friends and see who her friend was. Then you would see, understand what the baby daddy had going on. See what I'm talking about? Kiara Cole all day long and look, ain't nobody ain't even look, ain't nobody ain't even talking about that shit. T.Y. still got the same clothes on. Now, do y'all see a nigga picture? That junk got Kanika Martin on it. And look at the top of it. It got remembering. And, and now I know who changed her picture profile that said remembering. I've been thinking, where are you going to tell them to check their phone? And I ain't even go laugh. It looked like somebody in that bag, bro. I don't know if this shit real or not, but this came from school game video. And, and if school gang got this shit, bro, this got to be Kaniga in that fucking bag. Look at the flow. Look at the flow and look at the reflection on the flow, bro. Look at the flow. Hold on. Matter of fact, let me do it like this then. Look at the flow. Look right here. You got light flashing on the flow. Look what color the flow is. Look how they crop everything out around the body, bro. If it's this hub. You see what I'm saying? If this hub, bro. Man, look, I know there's a body in the back. It's shaped like a body. It's shaped like a body, bro. Look, this look like this gonna be where her head at, her arms and shit, 
And this like this will be her legs, bro. This look like this gonna be her legs. Do you see what that lady said? Look, watch this for the people that got Kanika. Watch, you got people that got Kanika footage. You got people where I told y'all, look at that parking lot footage, right? And you got YouTube got parking lot footage. This the reason why they don't show the parking lot footage, bro. This is what this comment said. However, no one bothers to watch the outside cameras because they expect her to be inside. You see what I'm saying, bro? That's why YouTubers don't even want to show y'all what's going on in the parking lot, bro. But they say they J for K. Look how they just upload footage of her. You see, they just uploading shit, bro. He ain't even no kind of, you know what I'm saying? Look, it ain't even no kind of. It don't, it don't even show you no hard work put being put in. It's just like, let me record this and upload this. Let me record that and upload that. You see what I'm saying? Oh, look what I found. People peeping around the corner. Man, they got people sending me pictures. They thinking, you know what I'm saying? It's style, man. And I'm like, man, these people just regular motherfuckers in the hotel. They just pause and search image to make it look like they peeping around the corner. You gonna have people peeping around the corner to find, you know what I'm saying? They other friends or a co-worker or looking for somebody. You know what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? That might be that girl. Only thing I know for sure, it's a body in there. For sure, it's a body, bro. Look. Everybody know what the pool look like. Look. You don't think that girl was in the pool? Look at the photo, bro. Man, that girl in the pool area. That's when they wrapped that girl up, bro. If that's why the police and this she was in Rosemont. You could get this shit out Rosemont website. If you look at the background, bro, this the pool area, bro. The background gave it up. So when you think about all those sheets and blankets, look, look, it's like they wrap that girl up, boom, 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 cover her up with sheets and blankets, because remember, she going to be naked, bro. And remember, you're going to have to take all her clothes on because you don't want that girl bowel movements in her clothes. Look how this shit go together, bro. She got plastic on her nail because you could tell they ripped the bag off. They just didn't untie it and just, you know, they cut the bag and you know, and you know, plastic going to catch on to anything that's, you know what I'm talking about? It's going to be on a nail. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't this fucked up. Bro. Look, if you look at the flow and look at the background on this picture and then look at her in the freezer right here. That's why you see... And then look, when I was looking at all the debris that was in the kitchen, I mean in the freezer, because I'm seeing a whole lot of black shit in there on the floor. Looked like it was burnt up. And I came to a conclusion like, well, damn, that could have been they burnt plastic in the fucking freezer, bruh. So definitely, it was a fire in the freezer. That's the fucked up part about it. Man, somebody set a blaze in the fucking freezer, bro. Matter of fact, I'm finna show her long. Let me see, can I pull it up? Now. Nah. 
this was Kanika profile when they were looking for her throughout the hotel. And look, if they had a phone, they changed it right when they knew that girl was there, bro. When they gave Miss Teresa back the phone, this is what they gonna look like remembering. Cause I remember, I'm like, damn. I they I don't, cause cause I t I told everybody this. If you was day one and, and you watched the actual live video, you would know I ain't lying on this shit, bro. This motherfucker said remembering before they gave the phone back to Miss Teresa, bro. No, I'm talking about. Now, Bri Bri and Maya, Monifa, all fake as fuck. There you go. This coming from my ring. No, me and Rico. Look, look at what they saying. Now, Bri Bri, Maya, and Monifa, all fake as fuck. Bri Bri know me. And Rico pass. I ain't go look, I ain't gonna go over there. I ain't trying to mess with him. No, shorty, not today. Hold on. This Mariah shit, bro. Look, the freezer won't work. I'm gonna tell y'all like this is what the report said. The freezer wasn't working. Check this out. The freezer wasn't even working for a couple of days after her death, bruh. And I'm finna pull the receipt up. Once I, I'm glad that you asked that, Donovan, because I like your mindset when you think it, because you thinking about that freezer, right? I know what's going through your head right now. So watch this. Check this out. I'm finna pull the receipt up. Before I do that, look what Mariah posed. And look, she got... This Mariah, bro. This Mariah. This Mariah, bro. They think I don't know, but I do. What's going on up there? What's going on up there? Do I need to come up there? See what I'm saying? Now, Bree Bree and Maya Moni, but all thank you for Bree Bree know me and Rico Pay. I ain't going to go over there. I ain't trying to miss. I ain't trying to miss him with him. No, shorty. Not today. On them. I'm done with these hoes. Only reason I am going because the Irene made a big deal about it. You see what I'm saying? She know what's going on with this shit. Look, she still want to be a hoe, bro. Look who she all around and shit. She actually thinking she a bad bitch. Nifa, good niggas adore her. Street bitches support her. Nutso gang. Pressure. Nutso gang. What kind of gang is that deal? Hold on, I'm finna get to that freezer part right quick. Oh, this is when dude now was in my comment was trying to tell me about Rico that had nothing to do with. Oh, here we go, right here. Look, here we go. Now, this is what we finna do. In this report, they said the freezer wasn't working. Right? The cooler worked, but the freezer don't work. And remember, the cooler always going to be at the temperature between 33 degrees and 44 degrees. Right? That's why they said Kanika body was 33 degrees to 44 degrees. Right? But your body going to 
drop like that when you dead anyway. If I die right now in this house, you know what I'm saying, a couple of hours, I'm going to be cold to the touch. That's why they that's why they say cold to the touch because you're going to be, that's what your body temperature going to hit. You know what I'm talking about? So let me go to this. No. I'm going to show you what they did when they came to the freezer part. All right. Here we go right here. Listen to what they finna say about their freezer, Donald. The police chief Coker and Dr. Christine Howe, right? That's the lady that did the autopsy report. Watch the foul play in this. They travel to the hotel on September the 27th. September the 27th. So that's like two weeks after that. Right? And listen what they can say about the freeze. Dr. Howe met with members at, at the uh, Rosemont Department Safety Center. Keep this in mind. It's odd, but you have the, uh, the doctor visiting Rosemont in the first place. Know what time that is. So look. Including Detective Anthony, as well with hotel security staff. Bruh, they got the hotel security with the medical examiner office with the police chief. What? And the medical examiner want to meet these folks and link up with these folks? Let's see why. Right? How? Look, they said the detective there, the police chief, and how along the path of the hotel travel. So they walked the same, they, well, they basically finna say they was there to figure out what route that she took. You ain't got to figure that part out because you got all the cameras, you watch this shit. You just need to come up with a lie and, and to fit the narrative of how she got upstairs to the freezer. So look. The group began at the room 926, the hotel in which, hold on, let me pull this shit up. Because I got a little on my screen. I, I know y'all on y'all screen, how what y'all seeing. I got a display. It look good for y'all, but on, I got another TV over here, and I got it real small on here. So it's hard for me to read. So look, boom. The group began at room 926. The hotel room is which the uh descendant attend the gathering, right? They continue to the lower level of the hotel mark lower level on the elevator keypad through a series of hallways to the hotel main kitchen area. Remember, main kitchen area is on the lower level to them, but we know the main kitchen is upstairs. They finna try to, you know what I'm talking about, come up how she in back upstairs. They told us she walked upstairs, and we know that's a lie. So look, boom. The detective and the police chief, Dr. Howe, they went through the main kitchen area. And they seen they set a stir into the second kitchen area that was said to have been in use at the time of Tanika death. The police chief, how were depicted to a large walk-in uh, cooler manufacturer about, you know what I'm talking about, these Inside the cooler, the police chief, Dr. Al, observed the walk-in freezer, which they uh, discovered that it's going to be a freezer too in there. So they got a label right here. At the time the inspectors on the cruise, the thermometer indicated that the temperature is 40 degrees Fahrenheit and the freezer thermometer indicated that the temperature was 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So look, they got the freezer fixed before they even know them some out. They got the freezer fixed weeks after that, bro. That's why Irene said the freezer didn't even work. That's why Andrew Holmes said the freezer didn't even work. That's why they had the medical examiner to come up there because you need the medical examiner 
to fit the police narrative. It's what they need. The footage. Right? It's important. The footage way important to them. The footage way important to them. They treat their footage like, like gold. And that's how the way y'all need to look at their footage. It's gold. It tells everything once you get an understanding of it. So boom. The police chief noticed that the cooler and the freezer were both outfitted with the handle. Now I don't want to read that part. The freezer doors was equipped with personal handles. The freezer was noted to be in a single container of cooking oil were observed in the cooler. According to the detective, the cooler and the freezer were both operated at the time of the discovery. No, that's a lie, bro. We know that's a lie. I, even the family said the freezer was warm in there. It would be impossible for, if you bring a body out the freezer, frozen solid, how you could unthaw it in two hours and the temperature reading at 33 degrees. Come on. Shanquilla Robinson was attacked in a hotel, in a, in a, in a villa, and her body temperature the same temperature as Kanika. 33 degrees, between 33 degrees and 44 degrees with rigor mortgage, and she cold to the touch. So they just used that to fit the narrative of her dying from hypothermia because that's what the body temperature going to read. And then we going to think like, damn, you know, I thought she was frozen solid now, little old shit. Look. Hold on, let me go to the other one. So... They list all the injuries. Look, you got an injury on her back, on her fucking back, bro. You got injuries on her waistline, on her ankle, and her cow muscle. Now look at this shit. This shit off road my website. So why would Rosemont have a picture of this? They got to explain, what's this picture then, bro? What's this? Man, I'm finna take y'all to the pool area. Watch this shit, bro. What's up with my Google Earth time? Hold on, y'all. I got to refresh. Man, look. It's the pool area, bro. I'm going to show y'all this shit, bro. Why is this? Look, bro. Y'all see that wall two tone right here? Damn, man, they got you. That's what I'm saying, bro. Damn. Oh, 
God damn it. See, they got this shit real, you know what I'm talking about? But it's supposed to be like this. You know what I'm talking about? Uh. So, if you look at it, they said Kaniva would lay on the side of the pool, right? So, you got to look at this crime scene like, damn. You got to get her out of view, right? Because you got people with rooms right up there. They're going to be the first and the second floor, right here. You got a towel station right here. And Monifa and them, when they came, they would be coming from right here. When, when look, they would be coming looking at the wonder from right here. So when they came, they had to be somewhere right up in here. Right up in here, bro. Man, that's why I hate hotel, cause you could change these whole you could the hotel can look one way and the next day it can look totally different because you could cause they do a lot of decorating. So if you really look at it, he said these tables and chairs were bent over. You got tables, chairs, look, lounges and shit. You see what I'm saying? So they gonna have her on the couch. Rather, if you gonna do something, you gonna either have her on the floor or on the couch. And then look, you got a, you got a, like a gym in this motherfucker. You got a, a foam in her towel. Look at all this shit that you can get rid of. Look, you got a dough right here. You see what I'm saying? You got a dough right here, but look at all the interest. If you look, you got another door right here. If that mother got that, that's like a, a equipment room. You know what I'm talking about? That's like equipment room because it got this shit on the door. So it got to be one on the other side over here. Then you need... And you need a key card to get in these motherfuckers, bro. And this is where the white girl came. You see what I'm saying? Man, they got cameras somewhere in this motherfucker. They got cameras somewhere in here. All right. So look. So we got to find out what we're happening with Kanika in the hours between one. Cause look, cause look, it's going on two o'clock. All the females leaving out there, John. The niggas coming in. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody know where Kanika is at this moment. Cause look at all the dudes heading to where they going. And next time you know, an hour and a half later, when all these dudes show up, now she getting off on the elevator. That's the mystery part about it, bruh.
Because we know she was in another room before she even made her way to the kitchen. That's what we need to figure out. Where the fuck she was at between the hours of 1 and 2 o'clock. Because remember Irene said, man, look, Kanika wrote not in her. It's two hours later. It's going on 3 o'clock. It's going on 3 o'clock. Two hours. Let's go back to 1 o'clock, bruh. That's why, that's why they were talking about Monifa. Talking about she only pulled one cup and all this. Like she was somewhere else in the hotel, bro. Matter of fact, So now you know what she mean by put on her back. Cause, cause Monifa, all, I mean, cause Irene already told us, like, damn, they told us we need the help and they were going to kill us too, bro. You see what I'm saying? Because... It you want the Monifa stats? Y'all got me fucked up. First of all, see, every time I ask them, if it wasn't for me, Kanika would be here. It won't be here. She'll still be here. Bitch, if it wasn't for a Monifa, she'll still be here. Because if my, all my friends, ten toes, if any of them drunk, I'm dropping them off. Right then and there, I'm not waiting. Fuck you time out. Then, on top of that, on top of that, I'm not leaving my friend under Teddy drunk. No way, no how, no form of fashion. No way, no how, no form of fashion. Fuck your time out. And then you on this bitch cloud chasing Moni. Uh, stay time out some day saying your name. Bitch, they ain't saying your name. They saying my name. I'm here steady the clout. Ain't shit happen here. Clout her drunk in the hallway by herself unattended a fake ass friend that's what you did you left her unattended and remind you you told me out your own mouth monifa yeah um kanika gone um where she go she uh i, I tell your ass go look for her how did you lose her that was within two seconds within two seconds did you go back no you stayed and party. Fuck you talking about. You got me fucked up. I'm not finna keep hushing up for you bitches. Neither one of y'all. You and Maya left her. But I ain't you. It's you right now. You and Maya. You see what I'm talking about? It's about you right now, Moni. It's all about you right now. Fuck you talking about since you going making statuses. And Tiara, I will beat your ass. I will beat the fuck out you. Come back. No. Fuck you talking about. I went to the hotel by my mother. I'm because you so fake tough ass. Fuck you talking about. She grown. All that. No, what? no, that's you didn't. Friend. That's she your knows. friend. That's your best friend. You so hurt, but you hang with her enemy. I don't give a fuck. I, it ain't my bitch, but I'll never talk to them people. You hanging with them people. You living with them people. But she at your party and you get her pocket tickets and you pressuring her to come to her party because you made a big deal for her to come to your party, bro. You see what I'm saying, bro? Look. Here you go, Mariah shit. I'm confused about you, baby. You got me fucked up. Fuck you talking about my loyalty you lays with my friend. You the same person telling Brie don't you call tweaking. her mama. Yeah, uh, come after me. Don't call her mama all that. Y'all trying to point the fingers at me. Got me uh, fucked up. I'm ten, her, ten toes We had 20, a thousand we had, Kanika. You got me fucked up. You tweaking. Fuck you, time out. Who? Mariah. She knew Kanika ain't game like Mariah, but she hanging with her. That's who. You know who, because you come. Then. They took off. Monique took off to be a drunk. She was laying on me. Yeah, and they get crazy, we get wild. Yeah, motherfucker know how I get. Ain't no motherfucker talk crazy yet. Ain't nobody gonna play with nobody. So, anyways, back to the party. We, we, now, she told me she finna get the phone. We watch, bam. Two, not even two. I want to say 30 seconds later, Monifa came in my face. Kanika missing. I looked at her ass. How the fuck is a grown lady missing? Go fucking find her. Did she go do it? No. Okay, party. The, the Lou Wayne saying, Lou Wayne song came on. Everybody turned up to that bitch. Then 
Shakara said, my sister. Looking around, going to bed. I didn't come to the party with her. That's what I'm saying. I and you and right or wrong, am I right or wrong? You you making sure your car is safe. That's my friend. I made sure she was safe in the party, but outside the party, I'm not understanding how I'm gonna make sure she's safe if she leaving with the people she came with. I'm confused. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm making sure me and my people safe. I made sure she was safe until she searched out the doors. That Come on, Hallie. What you mean they don't look like Irene? You trying to say that's not Irene, bro? You trying to say that's not Irene, bro? Man, you got to answer me right now before I even press play on this motherfucker. Is this what you trying to say that's not Irene? Hallie P, do you hear me? Sorry, y'all. I just had to address this. Well, I'm waiting on you. I ain't got all day. I got a goddamn investigation to run, girl. I want to hear it. Yeah, in my pinky voice. Who sent you, nigga? Irene, this your cousin. You fired too, goddammit. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Worrying about the wrong dumb shit, bruh. You see what I'm saying? But why you even say that shit then? What's the whole purpose of even saying this shit? I holler at you, Jack. It's been fun, but you got the run. And that part was on money for them. And that was the last thing you said. I told y'all what you said. Then they took her. Monique took off to be a drunk. She was laying on me. She was laying on me. She said, come on, you lose sleep around here. No, hey, Ron, reason why. So look, all of this would be going around one some game. That's how I'm taking it. Cause listen, listen close to what they saying. This will be going on round one and two o'clock before she getting off on the elevator. Right? Check this out. I'm talking because this the Monifa just delete the status. Gonna make a status come out some MTV status saying my name. Ain't no but your name not being said, period. Period. It's that me getting dropped to the light. Y'all ain't got to walk my shoes. Y'all ain't got to. When the next motherfucker walk up to y'all, is you Irene, you got to worry about if they finna kill you or is they trying to see is you, is it you. Y'all ain't got to worry about that. I do. I do. I do. Then you, then you, you on this bitch talking. Tiara, tell me so if, if, if it wasn't, if I wasn't, if she was trying to come to my lame ass party, uh, she'll still be here. Monifa was invited, first of all. Exactly, TK. As long as your friend. That's what we said. That's Everybody what I'm saying. Ain't nobody. So, Mega, she telling Moniva wasn't invited and, and, and Mariah wasn't invited. You see that? The two main mother got something to do with it wasn't invited, but they at your party. Right? And first of all, if my friend drunk and she's sleeping the party, we're finna go. Monifa the same. Let's 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 go. We're finna go. Monifa the same. We're finna go. The whole party busted in, but she didn't make it seem as if it was real. And she was missing. Fuck that. You still partying with us. And then after you say, Kanika missing, then Shakar was saying, Irene, Kanika really not up in here. I looked around. This damn now, three o'clock. Two hours later. I'm confused. Whoa, 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 whoa. I looked around. This damn now, three o'clock. Two hours later. I'm confused. I this damn now, three o'clock. Two hours later. I'm confused. So what the fuck this look like? She just gave y'all the biggest receipt in the game, bro. Now they want dry snitching.
So that means she was missing between the hours of what time? So what time she would be missing, bro? Round one song. If this shit going on there, one, two, three, it's down at three o'clock. That's two hours later to me. That's why I ask everybody. I ain't trying to hear. That's why I ask everybody, bro. Y'all need to figure out where this girl was. And listen, what how she, listen to the story she telling what Monifa telling her how she came up missing, bro. Y'all gotta think about it. When they put her out that room, bro, Monifa took her somewhere. We know that part. We just didn't know how long, bro. She could have been in no room with those niggas for an hour. Look. Look, look at this shit, bro. Look at this shit. Let's go back an hour and 30 minutes, two hours before this. And what you see, bro? My pony exactly. My pawn exactly, bro. Don't make me go to Sarge Rose statement. That's why you got that's why he said what he said at one thirty. Right here, Sergeant Rose said at one thirty she met with two friends on the ninth floor, and they re-entered the room, leaving Jiggas in the hallway alone, bro. Come on, gang. What they sound like? There you go, Donna. It's finna pop out. It's finna get real busy, Jack. You see what I'm saying? And that's why you got this video. That's why Irene said you stayed in party. And this is why she said you stayed in party. It's because of this video. It's because of this video. Come on, if it's still part of in this video, bro, with Kaniga, it's not in this video. That's why they got this video trying to make it look like she was in the room at Tucson. With them still pottering, bro. And edit T.Y. line to make it fit this narrative, but his line was really at 12 something. Come on, bro. Y'all see the game? Can you peep the game? Look. shit nobody's saying two hours later I, i'm not trying to hear shit no two hours later fuck you time out listen fuck that you still partying with us and then after you say kanika missing this shikara say i ring kanika really not up in here i looked around this damn now no, three o'clock two, two hours later i'm confused i ain't trying to hear shit no and then look and check this out, since it's going on three o'clock, she told them you need to go go try to find Kanika. So let's go to three o'clock when Kanika, when Monifa finally go try to go find her. Cause look, right here, let's go to three o'clock.
Look, this finna go. Look, boom. Now this at three. Now this finna be at two fifty two. Going on three o'clock, bro. Bam. Wow. Wow. This going on three o'clock. Wow. Wow. Somebody saying. Uh, boy, we finna good party. We're finna go. Monique finna say, let's let's let's. We're finna, finna go. Monique finna say, we finna, finna go. Monique on the stairs in front of her house. Said, the whole party busted in, Andy, but she didn't make it seem as if it was real, as she was missing. Fuck that. You still partying with us? And then after you say, Kanika missing, this your car say. Irene, Kanika really not up in here. I looked around. Mm -hmm. This damn now, no, three o'clock. Two, two hours, hours later, I'm confused. I ain't trying to hear shit. Nobody saying. Two hours later. I, I'm not trying to hear shit. Nobody saying. And I ain't even pointing no fingers at Monifa. See this? I ain't even fat because I'm tired of everybody. Just I'm just tired. Y'all don't understand. She I'm motherfucking no, tired. Who her? I'm motherfucking tired. That's all. No, I'm motherfucking her. tired. Then her and her other people stay to me. Me, 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 me. me. How the fuck is it me? If I came with my four people, me, Tyler, Oshikara, and Ernie, shit. It's probably what she meant by. They, they, at one point in time, they probably left her on the stairwell. They would make a whole lot of sense. Because you got to really pay attention to them because nobody just didn't catch on to that two hours later. What you mean, bitch? I thought she was missing that two song. Now, the reason why this is where Irene come into play when she said, I last saw the girl at two some. She already knew it was foul play at one song. So that's her chance to be like, well, look, my party didn't get to cracking that two song, right? And we was all kicking it and they said they were ready to go. There was the story. They want you to believe they was ready to go. But in reality, somebody panicked with that girl, bro. You see what I'm saying? Panic with that girl. That's why they came to the room asking for the phone and the keys, bro. It was not because they were finna go. Moniva fucked up. And left her with some niggas and they took her somewhere else, bro. Cause remember, the other security said they called Moniva and told Moniva to come downstairs towards the kitchen. Cause Kanika made it outside, right? Remember? She done made it outside and they need they told Moniva and the friends to come back and Bring her back in the hotel. And she came with Monifa. You wasn't a bite on my son. You know you wasn't a bite because she asked me and I told you no. You was right there when I said no. I So basically, she tried to say Mariah and Monifa now wasn't even supposed to be there because she knew if anything pop off, she ain't want to be nowhere on that type of shit. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, this cold as hell because she know they going to be on the footage. So she going to try to make it look like that, man. These people weren't even supposed to be at my party. They just came and bone rushed my party. But you the one that encouraged everybody to come to the party. You on the phone with them, telling them park in the car garage and don't worry about the parking ticket. Just don't lose it, because if you lose it, you're going to have to pay $200 to get your car out. I told you no. No, you cannot come. I was not fucking with you at the time. So don't act like I was fucking with you, because I wasn't. You can you can vouch on my son. I said, no, you cannot come to my party. You was ready to Fuck you come out. Then I played a sicko song. You. Uh, I said, let's just turn this out that shit off. I turn, I play sicko Maserati and Lil Dark Sheet. Turn this, look at, turn this, turn this, um, turn this motherfucking weak ass, I bad shit. Nah. 
Well, she basically just told me why Kanika was roaming the house and Monifa knew it. And she was in there partying. In the room. She was still in there partying and with them in the room while Kanika was roaming the hall. Low down, dirty motherfucker. She was in the bathroom having sex. 2.45, they came out the bathroom and another dude tried to take her back in. She screamed, help me, and they was selling their friend back page. Another customer called and she came out the bathroom and said, why y'all give her the hotel, the room number? Hmm. Man, what? And then look at the shit that I had to go through trying to expose little meat. Then you had people just bringing up other motherfuckers that closely look like him and trying to. Man, I was like, man, look. This shit's so crazy. This Kenneth Tar homeboy right here, he got the dread. You see what I'm saying? Monique, she said, you sold your friend Kanika Jenkins on pay pay without her knowledge. You were so jealous. You lied and told her she snitched. What really, what, when you really did. You need to have fun, Monifa. I'm not drunk. I'm having fun, Kanika. Bitch, Monifa. Oh, this is when somebody was trying to uh. Oh, this they walked their pocket space to the hotel and to up and on the ninth floor. It was a little bit of time, but by the time they go to the hotel room, Monifa had the phones. I got the text mission. Monifa, bitch, you not low. That was the killer was in the hotel room, though. You took the phone so these so these people were coming to who they saw outside on the camera. I ring with holding. You pretend to plug her phone or while you had on time out. Yeah, y'all go read some of this shit, bro. But don't y'all see what's going on, don't it? I just want y'all to look. Y'all got enough information, bruh, to go over my research and see what you come up with, gang. Because you're going to come up with the same thing I came up with, bruh. Look how it rule out everything. This ain't got nothing to do with no Bill Mary, Olga Harvison, body doubles, and reenactments and shit. Look what the real evidence point to. A bunch of old ass men with underage girls and the staff wanted part of it. And they came out their pockets, bro. And keep this in mind, Irene them, everybody is regulars at the hotel, bro. They know the staff, it's been confirmed. The, even they said even the lawyer found out that the staff knew them. You see what I'm saying? And the staff knew these folks, so it ain't no more speculation of what the fuck going on. You see what I'm saying?
Appreciate it, gang. Appreciate that Kenny Wood for the cash out. Y'all got this. I right, this 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 was my plan to leave her sleep to so she could because Brimbury was gone. So I said, leave her right there. I said, leave her right there sleep because Brimbury gone. So who the fuck gonna drive y'all home? That's not safe. Brimbury wasn't gone. Brimbury was still there. Brimbury was still there. So why she's taking up for Bree Bree and still was telling everybody that Bree Bree was gone? Clearly, Bree Bree is done. Take the drive drunk. She was asleep. Monique wants to go because I played the up ass song, I guess. Whatever the fuck the case may be, they want to go. But. You know she was drunk. So all that they trying to say she ain't drunk and she only had a cup. Monique wake up a drunk person and take them out the room. Monique was saying she only had a cup. How she only had a cup and she was stumbling. She was stumbling. She was stumbling. She was stumbling. And then for a motherfucker to be saying at the end, uh, I left the hotel. Oh, my son, I stayed in the hotel room and sat there for hours. I swear to God, for hours to 6 o'clock to make sure she come back and knock on the door. She never came. Everybody left. So I left. Inboxing Everybody. I inbox Monique for still got the inbox to this day. Did y'all find her? Fuck. No, no response. Get fuck up out of here. That's how we knew to come back up to the hotel. I said, Kanika didn't fuck with you, Mariah. So why is she hanging with you? And she know this. She know this for a fact. And you know this for a fact. You know that you was messing with Rico. She was messing with Rico and y'all both messing with Rico, so y'all ain't fuck with each other. So the lie to Lloyd to Rose with your friend. I'm not trying to hear all that. Y'all wasn't into it all that. She ain't got no biz with you, period. She don't even knew what the fuck was going on. That's like when Mook was finna fight you, Kanika was out there finna help. And Monique was saying she finna stab my fuckers. What? The lie to runs with my friend. I ain't saying I'm into it with y'all, but I never fuck with y'all because she didn't. Why the fuck? I'm confused. I don't know. I can't tell y'all how the fuck did she run off and she was in the hallway. I, I wasn't with them. That's why I'm saying I don't know how to point. The finger got to me and all this. I just don't know because you. I thing. don't know. You know how it got to you. My mom be from 1 on 13 line said that you left Kanika when they ass left her. And yeah. Like, that's not the thing we got on you. Because so all y'all people, people they went with that. They left her. It ain't take two of y'all. They left her. It ain't take two for one of them. It's a one person. Why y'all don't even know where y'all left her at the hallway or the lobby. Which one is it? Make y'all story up. Y'all can't even stick with the right story. Y'all run. Hey, y'all come y'all left the lobby if you come right back in. Right after you left out. Where are you to say? You don't need to be I, I can't tell y'all shit. I'm, I'm telling y'all I don't know. I'm honestly telling y'all I hey, don't you, know. All the fuck I did was have a party. Party with my friend. She the one actually on my son. I was not finna have this party. She ring. It's your birthday. Uh, everybody who ever know me know I get high and ride around all night till the sun roll up. That's what the fuck I was finna do. She ring. Don't do it because you do that all the time. It's your 21st birthday. You might as well have a party. You might as well. I had the fucking party. She asked me, can Monifa come? No, I never knew shit about no movie theater. None of that was mentioned to me because we've been playing this shit for months. Months ago. Months. This shit been happening. Been. And you know she called because she the one with to go get the speaker. And... It, it don't matter who wrote mine. You out there trying to take off for Monifa because she your friend. I don't get no fuck. You what you talking about? You sound who stupid. Who you, she right. It don't matter. It don't matter who wrote who. It, not, it don't matter at all. You supposed to make sure your friend's safe, and that's what the fuck I did till she left the room with the people she was going with. She was supposed to make. She was supposed to handle that after that because they was gone. I was told they was going home, and that's what the fuck was supposed to happen. She was supposed to go home. I, I made my part. That was it. Y'all came with each other, y'all supposed to love each other, but y'all left just two of y'all instead of the three of y'all. Stop it. And y'all sound dumb. Why would a whole group, it is already 50 motherfuckers going through the hotel, go search and go look for her. Why would y'all leave the room? Why did she come back to the room? Right. Nobody's in the room. We did, right? Split it up. Some stay in the room, some, some go look for her. Y'all can't tell us how to move. Y'all sound dumb as hell up under And then, you when the search party, party went on, everybody, okay, the party was over with. It's my people of Western Health. And 
Monif and them went, and I stayed in the room just in case she come back. Ain't no point in everybody leave. She come back, she drunk the cascade. The motherfucker gotta, gotta be. I ain't no motherfucker gonna touch me, but I'm tired of Monif on this bitch portraying the image. Monifa, you on this bitch portraying the image like it's you, 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 you. It ain't you. It's me. You. And then y'all went up there. And, and then you went up on 13 and said, what the fuck she tell him? Told them you left her in the hallway. Yeah, I left her you in the hallway. Her. You had her. Y'all came. Y'all, oh. you want to go so I ain't pointing no fingers. I never said Monifa did shit or anything to anybody. What I said was, I did my part as a friend. I made sure my friend was sleep drunk. <laughs> You did your part as a friend. You made sure she sleep drunk. She just sleep. She just slipped up, bro. What did be said? I ain't pointing no fingers. I never said Monifa did shit or anything to anybody. What I said was, I did my part as a friend. I made sure my friend was sleep drunk to sleep her drunk out because Brie was with them. Brie Brie could have drove. Now she said Brie Brie was with them. Now you, now y'all believe what I said that when she said Bree Bree was with them, bro. Look, Bree Bree was with them. With the key. But at first she said Bree Bree was gone, how they were gonna drive. But all of a sudden, come on, bro. Look what Trey Gang peeping up on. Pie y'all. Pie y'all. You know what I'm on. Look. See that? That's why they said he's some fake ass friends, bro. Irene did her part, made sure she was drugged up and sleep. Why would you have I did my part in front of that, bro? That's just like me saying, man, I made sure my nigga was drunk as fuck. That was my part. My part was to make sure he get fucked up. You, that's why she said she did her part, bro, because that's all she had to do. Get it? Cause look, you could hear her in school game video saying, you finna be drunk. Are you finna get fucked up? Uh, matter of fact, let me play that motherfucker. Hold on. Hold on. So sick of the songs, so sad and slow, so why can I turn off? Check it out. I think she drove Maya. Yes, yes. 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 I think she drove Maya. Yes, yes
I'm sorry, I'm just you. always ready her mouth for what? What I do to you? I ain't even, I ain't even say nothing to you. I said something to him. I ain't even say nothing to you. Now, I'll stop trying to lay that on I ain't even say nothing to you, though. You did. You said a bad gift from under this laugh. Ow. Get this laugh. What'd she say to you? Littles. Mm -hmm. I believe that too, Donovan Bull Lock. But she ain't got that mother gone mm -hmm. in the footy. Yeah. Me too. Let them turn. I'm sorry, I'm just you. always ready her mouth for what? What I do to you? I ain't even, I ain't even say nothing to you. I said something to him. I ain't even say nothing to you. Yeah, you did. She Now, I'll stop trying to lay that on I ain't even say nothing to you, though. You did. You said a bad gift from under this laugh. Ow. <laughs> Get this laugh. What she said to you? Some boy. Littles. Littles. Mm-hmm. Huh. I said, what up? Who's? Man, yeah. you can let them turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just saying. Yeah. 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 No, we got no. We got one of them. I'm trying so hard to see. That's why they have. They got that anyway. Yeah, that's why. You gonna be here? That right now. Is you gonna be here for real? We just call him and let him know. Hey, Donovan. That was her part, bro. She did her part. Made sure she was gonna be drugged up and sleep, bro, and not drunk. See what I'm talking about? Man, it's cold blooded, man. They did that girl like that, man. And then you had other people just to throw us out to protect some pedophiles, bro. I got 10 minutes to be here. Don't be here after Let me see. Let me see. You always run her mouth. What would I do you, homie? Kev Kev said, bitch, you a liar. He's talking about me because I ain't got his feet. Right, because he didn't need to be anyway. Who's going to be anyway? Hmm. Yeah, we're going to be having it. Maybe we're going to have it. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be a fly. Stop, Shalom. 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 That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be a fly. It's gonna be a fly. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
She said she did a part and look what they on, getting the pills and all this. So Irene could miss me with it all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all wasn't her friends and all this. Bitch, you the biggest op in the world. You the biggest op in this motherfucker, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? You a liar. <laughs> Listen to my niece. <laughs> You gonna be here? Is that? Call right now. Is you gonna be here for real? Let me just call him and let him know. I got ten minutes to be here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Need for hours by her mail. Well, what I do, you homie. Kev Kev said, bitch, you a liar. Okay, he's talking about me because I ain't back in the field, boy. And the police come lock you and charge you for this shit. This shit ain't right. They got me and two of my little niggas fighting for our life. Yeah. I got my motherfucking jail. Police come lock you to charge you for this shit. This shit ain't right. They got me and two of my little niggas fighting for our life. Yeah. Bro, we need to be looking in the shades on this motherfucker, bro. Man, look. Yep, I come out the motherfucking jailhouse and there's three detectives standing there yeah. and they tell me. We Man, I just seen Kanika on the bed, bro. We got a doctor inside, but we want to know your side of the story, because we know it's two sides to every story. I told him I ain't got no side, I want third. But it broke, let me tell the truth. But it broke, let me tell the truth. But it broke, let me tell the truth. But it broke, let me talk to you. So she basically on the bed with all them niggas, bruh. She on the bed with all them niggas, bruh. And this shit finna make me tear up, bro. They sitting up there. Everybody sitting on the bed with her. And look with her friends sitting up. Come on, man. That's wrong. That's so wrong. That's so wrong, bro. That's messed up, bro. I wonder why that girl couldn't scream. Oh, look, look what position she in, bro. She you think I'm lying? Then you can look that shit up. I bet they get out of this shot. Got me picked up. Nigga, I'm innocent. Yeah, they tryna finish me. I came in real boy stylish, but they tryna finish me. I would never ever been charged if you don't got with no witnesses. Come on, nigga, little bitch, little bitch, little bitch. If you don't got with no witnesses, this shit fucked up. Gang, gang, they blind me for some shit I ain't do. I had to make me my niggas bum. They just wanna see me rock. They trying to do like they live the boots. And the police come lock you and charge you for this shit. Oh, there go Kanika right there. He just came out the bathroom. Yeah, that Kanika right there. Big nose, motherfucker. Look at that whole nose. Oh. I remember Patricia Cole, if you are dating a no wool woman, leave her. Oh, now I understand who this person is now. I will never forget how she was blowing the horn, rushing him out, 
Later, he gone. Oh. God damn it. Now I know why King Rob brought up Patricia. Yeah, yeah, Patricia, Miss Teresa Sussel, and try to have a narrative on the Sussel, bruh. Cause he, cause he, cause he called her Patricia Coleman. But this Patricia Cole, how oh, I caught on that. God damn it, I caught on that, Jack. All right, I see what go. I see why King Rob was doing what he was doing. I see why King Rob was doing what he was doing, bro. Now this J Money baby mama that's driving, you know what I'm talking about. And they were trying to say, "Damn, damn, damn. Go to Tanika, she here. Federal sex trafficking charges. 22 year old Melanie Danae Williams, who goes by a not very nice street name, was taken into custody back in February. She's been charged with abusing a woman and forcing her into prostitution. Prosecutors say she ordered the woman to strip before throwing bleach on her and beating her with a broom. Now they are adding more Damn, that's a nice pretty whole Look, damn, they got a pretty whole face and six trafficking charges. Man, look at this shit, bro. Man, Chicago wildin' like a motherfucker. I don't know what's that song they playing. <laughs> You could tell where they lifestyle this niggas be running in and out that motherfucking house, bro. You see what I'm saying? So they these niggas be using their house to trap out of and toss these bitches and everything. And that's what they want. Then I remember they tried to say Kenny was walking in the hotel playing Kaneko. Now like, man, this fucked up the way they did the family, bro. And spread all their family. Man, this fucked up the way they did the family, bro. This fucked up the way they did the family. They made that. They, they, look, they made the family look guilty, bro. You got to be a bad motherfucker. You made thousands of people go against the family, bro. But that they coming, you know, I ain't running. Did you see that shit? 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 Did you see that shit
It's a Kanika name. That's what the fuck we did that for. Y'all talking about no snitching. If you from out west in Chicago, you know what the fuck we do that out here. You dumbass skits. Y'all out of town people need to get the fuck on. That's all I want to say. What? Talking about this mean, no snitching. No, that's just something we do. What the fuck? We don't want to talk. That's what that means. We don't want to talk. <laughs> See that? Oh, let me do this here. We don't want to talk. Definition of a cloud chasing bitch. Bro. Something about that mean no snitching. Nah, bitch. That's just what we do out here. We just put our hand over our mouth. We just walk, walk, walk. So go, go. Then you lose. Ah, oh, wait. Then you lose, motherfucker. Something about. Oh, you talking about that little dirt? Little dirt made a song about Kanika Jenkins. He told you about the whole setup. Yeah, that was little dirt song. He was at R.I.P. Kanika Jenkins. He was talking about Monique and them how they set her up and that's how they get down in Chicago, bro. Yeah, go listen to that lyric, little dirt. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Kanika Jenkins. I don't know the title of that song, but he basically telling you how Monique and them set her up, bro. Talking about her friend did this shit, bro. It's a little dirt song. It's it's a song dealing with he rapping about he rapping about everybody that was fell victim. You know, everybody that he knew that fell victim to to this type of shit. He was making a song that everyone that died. Yeah, Crossroad. That's it, Crossroad. It's the name Crossroad. That's what it is. And, and, and look, listen to it. He gonna take my dirt. Dirt told it. He said, he said it was a setup for jealous ass friends, bro. Yeah, check that John now. Crossroad. You gonna hear when he gonna... Cause I think he made a whole bar about it. Shit, he made a whole song, and I think he was like breaking it down, like how it, how it led up to it. I'm glad that, you know what I'm saying, somebody made the post or whatever. Because like I say before, people are like, they just couldn't look and tell that that was not Kanika. They go bullshit. Y'all see how they can get all these different pictures and say that's not Kanika, bro? That's fucked up, bro. And, and they shot out World News and World News with King Rob, bro. World News and King Rob fell out about the Kanika Jenkins case. I don't know what his pod was in it, but why he spreading this narrative? Don't y'all know where they be getting these pictures from, bro? They be surfaced on the internet, find anybody that close look like Kanika and pull their picture up and say that's not Kanika, bro. See what I'm saying? That shit gotta stop, bro. Bro. No, um. I'm saying. Y'all remember King Rob always talk about Dolores. Monique for short tour of Dolores. Look, man, I remember King Rob used to mention Dolores all the time, and now I'm seeing this shit. Look at that, man, you mean to tell me they gotta be her room. 
Where the dog cage is? Cause they with the bitch sleeping or killing her, goddamn. You got to lock her up at night. Give her a bowl of water and some Scooby snacks. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Yeah, lock her up in the kennel, get her a, a bowl of water and some Scooby snacks, goddammit. You let the bitch shit out in the morning, you know what I'm talking about? That's who she was staying with, bro. That's who she was staying with. Cause to me, it looked like her family don't want nothing to do with her. Cause she hit she, she everybody else out. See what I'm talking about? Man, y'all don't get me started because y'all know when I get started, it's hard to turn me down. You know what I'm talking about? But I ain't gonna stop. Ooh, if she did say this her room. She did say this. Look. Y'all know she trifling and nasty. You know what I'm talking about? Now y'all know she trifling and nasty, bro. Real talk. This bitch said, my room? That's your room, bitch? Your room look like a, a vacant house. That look like a vacant motherfucker. How will you go over and look at that room and be like, damn, bitch, do you supposed to be in this motherfucker? My room. That's your room. No bed, no blow up bed, just hardwood floors. I told you, that's how a dog sleeps. You know what I'm talking about? She might be sleeping on her on her back with her legs and the arms in the earth like a canine. I just don't get it, bro. You ain't got no bed, no nothing. Then you got shit everywhere. If your room look like that, I could just imagine what your booty look like. You know what I'm talking about? You might got crust around your asshole. Little crumbs and shit. You know what I'm talking about? My God, in the name, no bean bag or nothing. Damn, then they got a kitchen table in the living room. That table in the wrong area of the house. Don't that motherfucker be in the kitchen? Not in the fucking living room. Look how tall that motherfucker is, bro. God Hey, don't do it, Trey Gang. Don't do it. Man, a dog don't need no goddamn air mattress. You see what I'm saying? Oh, he just need a spot on the floor. He ain't go complain. As long as you got a bowl of water and some Scooby snacks. That motherfucker good, bro. <laughs> Hey, bro, stop playing on me. So what you say tomorrow? Go ahead, Nene. So what you say tomorrow? You better ask the last nigga what happened. Hey, just go. Yeah, she's gonna let me ask you. See you later. Yeah. I'm gonna play that. Oh. 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 Oh.
Mikey! Hey, uh, no. Calvin finding her 18 year old son. This is why school game telling everybody to watch Monifa with that drink, and you know what I'm talking about. But, but yeah, gang, I just want to show y'all the business, bro. I mean, man, keep in mind, Trey Gang is on these sucker ass. You can't lie forever. The truth always going to reveal itself. You see what I'm saying? One day she going to get justice. And I won't be surprised, goddammit, if, if a motherfucker get killed, Monifa ass get her motherfucking top blown off. And I really believe she probably one of the main reasons, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and told on killer and had try to get killer, you know what I'm talking about. That's the way I'm looking at it. I feel like that's the reason why they got shot and killed just because of Monifa pulled that little move, bro. And I'm going to stand on that. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, gang. I'm going to go on and wrap this on up. I'm going to go on and wrap it on up, gang. And we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. Man, y'all drop those purple hard for Kanika and spread the word. Spread the word, goddammit. They said killer paralyzed. I don't know he might be. Because y'all already see the attitude they got. They ain't go tell us what happened. They ain't go talk. They help set it up and they help kill the girl no i'm talking about but yeah appreciate for uh appreciate the young lady that hit me hit the cash out you know what i'm talking about i appreciate that too Man, I appreciate everybody y'all holding that motherfucker down with me, Jack. But believe me, justice will be coming, bro. It's just a matter of time when they wrap it up in court because we ain't got long to go, bro. Man, look, we ain't got long to go when they come to their court. And I just hope and just, they can just rush it just a little bit of gone and you know what I'm talking about? Stop wasting the time before somebody else dies. Oh, no, somebody else died that we don't need dead yet. Because I feel like death is the, is the easy way out. You know what I'm talking about? I feel like death is the easy way. I want to see your ass physical and mentally abused, goddammit. The way they did Kaniga is the way I want to do them. I don't mind torching a motherfucker. See, I got all kind of techniques over here that I'm itching to, you know what I'm saying, experiment in. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I want to, uh, yeah, I want to put a motherfucking hand in some ice water. Yeah, I want to keep their hand in ice water because I want their hands to be real, real cold. And I just want to slap them motherfucker with a little belt. Flow, flow, bitch. You hear me what I'm talking about? Yeah, I want to, uh, wet me a motherfucker up. You know what I'm talking about? Get a motherfucker nice and wet and whoop them with a whip so they can bleed a little bit and throw salt water on the wounds and you, you know what I'm talking about and shit like that. I want a motherfucker whine, whine, whine. I want a motherfucker goddamn it big me. Please, Mr. Trey Gang. Please, pretty, please don't do it now because I'm, I'm hot of her. I don't hear shit too well. You know what I'm talking about? Because when my mind click, it's over with. I don't see shit, hear shit. I just spring into action. Whatever that spirit desire, or whatever whatever you want, you shall get it, goddammit. Make me mad. Yeah, I'll follow your ass at work and try to run your ass off the road. 
You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that type of shit. I'm that type of motherfucker, goddamn it. Throw a brick through the window with a letter attached to that motherfucker. Bitch, get out now. <laughs> yeah, I'm the type of motherfucker. I'm a high motherfucker to cut all your brake lines off your car. But bitch, it ain't no stopping. <laughs> Keep going, bitch, and hit the wall. You did what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm with this shit. Oh, don't let me find out what's your favorite drug. I got somebody that know how to tweak it a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm going to have, look, this drug drug will permanently fuck your mind up. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you be walking out the house, bare feet, no shirt on. You know what I'm talking about? Standing at the bus stop. Talking about yum, 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 You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, your life will be over with. You, they got to put you in the group home. You know what I'm talking about? Because you ain't mentally stable to be nowhere by yourself. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, it is over with. Yeah, I'm the type of motherfucker call you be like, look, I need you to pop up at this location fast in a hurry. And now you done popped up at a murder scene. Now you got the charge, bitch. You big nose, all them ugly duckling bitches. Man, don't get me started, gang. Do not get me started. Because I'm tired. I'm irritated. You're not the out. Man, these bitches, they need to take their motherfucking food stamp card. They need to take these whole vouchers. Even these ugly hoes a free pass and shit. And somebody need to go buy this bitch some motherfucking, some doo-doo pads. You know them dogs, they need doo-doo pads, a new milk bone. You know what I'm talking about. Man, look, if Monifa walk down the street, watch how all the dogs bark. Man, them motherfuckers see Monifa like, damn, that's what a real mutt look like. That bitch look like a real mutt, Jack. You goddamn skibby, she look like a mud. Boom. Man, look, Trey gang, look, y'all, man. Y'all be cool. Y'all be safe, man. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm out.